Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and today I have some super, super exciting news for Star Wars Squadrons, but before we get into the video, um, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on, do it right now, or else you will be sucked into the Xavian Abyss, and crash into to a rock like those poor Republic cruisers in the gameplay you see on your screen. So, do it. anyway, let's get into the video. Um, I have some super, super exciting news, as I said, and um, this has to do with squadrons, and one of the most requested um, like things that the community has asked for in squadrons, and I am so happy it actually happened. And that is um, post-launch content, which I didn't think we would get any of. Not many, basically nobody thought we would get any post-launch content. And so this is super exciting. But what's more important is that we got private matches and some new Starfighters and components. Now I'll get into the details on those um, once I am done talking about private matches, which... Um, Man, private matches will keep this game alive um, for so much longer than it um, would have lived otherwise because um, it's kind of sad to say, but the game is already kind of dying because it's such a smaller um, player base and like interest group. And because of that, um, player base is kind of getting a little bit lower. But with private matches, can get into games with your friends so much more easily it doesn't have to be a full lobby and yeah it's it's great because you can customize stuff they called the custom games officially in the like announcement and you can actually customize them and do all kinds of fun stuff so this will keep the game alive for so much longer because discords like star wars legions can um, do events much more easily than they otherwise would have been able to and um, I'm super excited for private matches. I hope you guys are too. And, um, now let's get into the, um, new fighters that they added. The new starfighters. So the two starfighters that they added, um, are the B-Wing and the TIE Defender. Two super cool ships. Uh, I'm so glad they got added. And, um... I'll put pictures of them up on the screen for you guys. Um, there is the B-Wing. Um, they're super cool. Their wings like rotate. And there is the Tide Defender. They are such a cool but weird looking ship. But both of them in canon are super OP. And um, of course for this game they have been balanced. The B-Wing is a bomber. And the... Um, and the TIE Defender is a fighter, and um, they will have their components for the respective classes. Now, um, like I said, these guys are overpowered in canon, but for this they have been balanced, which is good. Um, I'm not sure um, how good they're going to be. I'd imagine they will be at least somewhat overpowered. Um, or at least somewhat powerful, but um, this game is really well balanced actually, and so I think it'll be fine as far as that goes, but uh, I really love that they added some new ships to the game. Um, it's a very much needed piece of um, extra content uh, just to keep the game fresh, and um, same thing with private matches. Now into our last couple pieces of news, uh, one of which I forgot to mention at the beginning, is that we are getting a new map, which um, is Fostar Haven from the uh, prologue, and that um, should be a super cool map because there's kind of two areas. There's um, kind of that industrial area where there's more cover and then there's a wide open area as well um kind of like you have in prime so it's like a combination of two really good maps and i'm really excited um for Fostar haven 
And uh, if you don't know what that map is, go watch my video on the prologue. I will link that up in the top right corner. But yeah, anyway, um, that's the new map we are going to be getting. Um, and the last thing we'll be getting is um, four new components. So for components, we have um, for fighters and bombers, we got a boost extension kit which I think is a super cool component because um, when you use it, it fully recharges your boost. So then you can uh, get out of somewhere really quickly. It's great for hit and run tactics. And I think that's a component that I will definitely be using. Um, yeah, so that's for fighters and bombers. And then for fighters and interceptors, we got ion rockets, which are like barrage rockets where they are a dumb fire weapon. But um, they're basically to give the fighters and interceptors a little bit um, more of something to use against capital ships and raiders. Because, as you know, A-wings are like little paper airplanes flying through space. I, someone told me that and I'm like, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> um, so they're super fragile and they don't really have any like ship killing weapons like bombers do. And these ion weapons will give them that, so um, I'm glad they did that. Um, the squadrons team seems to be really be thinking about the community here, and I'm really happy about what they've done so far. And um, now on to our second to last component. Um, for bombers and fighters, once again, we got piercing, um, piercing like torpedoes. It's this is a really, also really cool component where it's like, you know, the proton torpedoes, except not as strong, but they pierce through shields. So this could be an interesting mechanic because you can then now hit a shield generator on a capital ship, or yeah, no, a flagship without going inside the shields, which makes it a lot less risky. So you can take down the shields without having to get close to the uh, flagship. So this is going to be a really interesting component. They obviously do a lot less damage than, um, say, the, like, you know, normal proton torpedoes or quick block missiles or whatever. However, um, they go through shields, which will be really fun to use, uh, really interesting. And now last, but definitely not least, we have for the support class, um, the anti-material turret, which is kind of a weird component, but it also sounds pretty cool. Basically, um, you stick down a turret, and instead of targeting fighters, like the normal blaster turret that the support class would put down, um, it targets flagship systems. And so this could be an interesting way for the, um, for the support class to also get in on attacking the flagships, because they also aren't the greatest at it. So, um, I really love all these new components. Uh, I think they've done a really good job with them. And yeah, that's about it for this uh, content update. And um, the, all this content will be dropping in updates in the next like couple months. Um, sounds like it should all be out by the end of the year. And so I'm really glad for that. Um, and yeah, the, these... Uh, these pieces of content, I think, will really um, keep this game alive for a long time. So I am very glad that they added this. And yeah, um, that's about it for this video, guys. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And if you did enjoy the music in today's video, um, go to Purple Planet Music for the first song, and the other three were actually composed by myself, so you can ask me about those down in the comments. But anyway, that's about it for this one, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, and with that, I will see you guys out on the battlefront.